Clutch Trucker, filmed before a live studio audience, Rusty, the world famous meatball dog. Hey YouTube, Clutch Trucker here. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Clutch Trucker channel. Alright, just a real quick one today. Uh, like I say, I, I'm almost home, so I, I wanted to just throw a quick one together today and say, yeah, I called Garmin like I promised I uh, would. Called him actually right after I got here to this uh, Quick Star in Brooklyn, Iowa, exit 201 off of I-80. Uh, if I, I've mentioned this before, Quick Stars, oh, Garmin thinks I'm talking Found to Found a there. result near Brooklyn, yeah. Iowa. Yeah, I know, Garmin, all right, jeez. Uh, they have more like grocery items in the store and they have those pre-made meals. Great stop for truckers. Uh, their bathrooms are usually clean, uh, you know, they usually have some decent parking. Um, they're kind of hit or miss on that, but this one here in Brooklyn, Iowa was really good. Anyway, so here I am, and I called Garmin after I got here uh, to complain about that window that pops up on the uh, OTR series now when you're on the phone. And, you know, the guy is listening to me, but, you know, you ever get the feeling when you're talking to some people, they're not really listening to you, you know what I'm saying? So after a while, you know, I'm kind of explaining to him, and he's just too quick to answer. Too quick. Okay, yes, mm, yeah, we've got that, we've noted that, mm, yeah. I'm like, okay, I don't really think you're following me, because, you know, I, I have a YouTube channel, I talked about this, and we got a lot of complaints from a lot of other people saying, yeah, they hate the same thing. Oh, yeah, okay, well, we're no noting it right now. Just kind of cutting me off too quickly, not letting me vent a little bit about it. So it just kind of felt like he wasn't really listening. I just, I felt like I wanted to start just saying things like, uh, on weekends, I dress as an axe-murdering nun when I go to Subway, just to see if I get some other kind of reaction from the guy. But anyway, he said, yeah, he did say there's been a lot of complaints about that, and there is a case on it. So the more of us that call and complain about that, and uh, enough of us complain and put it in the case thing, then they should fix that on the next update. We can only hope. So, I did my part, I called. If you've got an OTR 1800 or 700 and you're tired of that little window popping up now on their latest update when uh, you're on a call because you can't get rid of the window, that's the annoying part. So uh, call them and complain too. And you know, if you feel like saying you dress up as a uh, ax wielding nun on weekends when you go to Subway, just try it. <laughs> just see what see what they say. All right, in my last video, I'd been talking about uh, one of the many subjects I was talking about, that I had an ABS light that was, you know, staying on the dash on all the time. It, well, it wasn't the one for the trailer, it was for the actual tractor, uh, which means there's some, uh, this, either the sensor's going bad or uh, there's a problem in the cable or the wire. And uh, I, you know, said that I, I bought the parts and was going to maybe do it myself. I tried to see if TA would do it, they wouldn't do it. Uh, but I did find that the, the cable going from the sensor was frayed because whoever it, uh, replaced it last time didn't zip tie it down properly so that it wouldn't sit there and rub on the axle as it's going down the road. Well, I brought I stopped at Sap Brothers today in Peru, Illinois, thinking, well, let me just try to get this done before I go home so that's one other thing I won't have to deal with while I'm at the house. Because uh, I didn't, I said, well, maybe I was going to crawl under there and get all greasy and do it myself, but I'm down to my last shirt. And, and this one, look, see, we got a hole in it right here. Uh, I, I didn't want to kill my one last shirt because I was going to take a shower today and uh, do that. So um, I thought, well, let me stop, stop at Sap Brothers. They were opening up at 7 a.m. the shop. It was literally 7 a.m. right when I pulled in there this morning in Peru, Illinois. Uh, by the way, today is Thursday, the 20th of May. And so they got me right in. And um, I, uh, so... I said, yeah, it's a quick job if you can just do this for me. So they did. And uh, the whole point of this part of the video is uh, the cards. You know, use these cards, drivers. Every, you know, Pilot has one. Flying J has one. Well, Pilot and Flying J is the same card. Loves has one. TA Petro has one. And there's the others. There's the, the Roadies and uh, the Ambest. You know, I know I can fill, I can fuel at TA's Petros and get a discount. And many roadies and ambests, I get discounts at too. I unfortunately don't get discounts at Love's. I will fuel there occasionally, just if I know I, I wanna rack up a shower or something and, it, and the price isn't too high. Uh, I can't fuel at Pilot Flying J at all. I still have their card because if I buy crap in their store, 
at least I can rack up some points that way. Uh, but anyway, in Sap Brothers, of course, uh, where's my Sap Brothers card? I got it handy right here because I use it fairly often, actually. And uh, I've, I, had, I knew I had quite a few points racked up on there. So the nice thing about racking up these points, the whole point of this part of the video is uh, saves you money, especially as an owner-operator, because uh, I had them do it because I didn't feel like crawling under the trailer and get, or the truck and getting all greasy. They did it. Uh, I was trying to have them do another thing, another uh, uh, temperature sensor, coolant temperature sensor, but I had the wrong one. I, I bought this one, and I don't even know where to go. And, uh, and it turned out this is an oil temperature sensor. I told the guy, coolant temperature sensor, he gave me the wrong one. <clears throat> so I had to pay a little extra labor for them to pull off my air filter uh, intake housing thing to get to that one just to find out I had the wrong sensor anyway. Still trying to deal with the engine brake issue. Uh, I know I thought I had that fixed. I'll touch on that in a later video. Anyway, so I had to pay a little extra labor for that. Total bill was like $144. I knew I had probably around 200 bucks. Yeah, I had over $200 in points on my Sap Brothers card. So I had that repair done for free. Holy criminies, that's the kind of thing you like, baby. Yeah, so didn't have to pay a dime. Uh, I used my points to pay for that, so that was a beautiful thing. Uh, turned out the two ABS sensors I bought at that Freightliner, uh, they didn't need to use because the sensor was still good. It was just the, fra the wire was frayed, the extension cable. I happened to have another extension cable. This is why I never throw parts away from when I tried to trace down an ABS issue I had like three years ago. Ended up getting all greasy under the truck, figuring that out myself. It was the cable further up, so I didn't need the extension cable I had bought. But I kept it, and I gave it to the guy today and said, well, here's my extension cable. Use this. And he did, and I was done. But yeah, the whole point being, make sure you have all the cards, drivers. Even if you're a company driver, you can still reap the benefits. Uh, you know, yeah, you may not use it to, to pay for service, but you can certainly use it to buy other crap in their uh, stores or... You know, showers even. I used, Then after that, I went over and got a shower there at the Sap Brothers in Peru, Illinois. I didn't have any shower credits on my card, but I had points. So I used some points for my shower. And got my shower and now have my holy shirt. Oh, holy shirt. On. And if you saw my video a few months back where I was talking about my new wallet, my Bull Captain, I like this wallet a lot. Because I need one that holds a lot of cards. I still can't get all my cards in here because there's just too many cards. But, you know, quick rundown. See, like right up here on the top, I've got uh, where I'm at right now, my Quick Star. See, my, it's Quick Trip or Quick Rewards. Quick Trip, Quick Star at the top. Uh, but see, right here, it, uh, the ones I use all the time, my Fuel Card. Uh, then I've got my TA Petro Ultra one right there. What's this? This is the, uh, oh, here's the Loves that I'll use on occasion. Uh, I just showed you my quick trip one. I've got in another slot over here, here's the pilot one. I, I kind of hide that one away because I don't use it as often. Um, I've got over on this, on the flipped back side, that's where I've got my Sap Brothers card here, Sap Brothers. And I got then some actual credit cards and debit cards and things there. And then uh, my Ambest and my Roadies. I don't have enough room in my wallet, so I keep them in my spare wallet back in my briefcase bag that I got from Duluth Trading Company, which you saw in a previous video. But you gotta have all these cards to take advantage. Now, I don't usually, I don't rack up many points on these, uh, but what I will get is, is shower credits. Sometimes I'll fuel at one of the independents, I get a good discount at a lot of these independents, and at least then I can get a shower at a, at a Roadies or an Ambest. So, that's why you need to have all the cards, drivers, company drivers, owner operators, it doesn't matter. Get all the cards! You know, because if you're going to be, you know, spending any money or buying fuel or anything in any of these locations, you might as well get your rewards for it. Get the cards. One other thing i got to show you real quick, look at this. What is this? It's a reflective kind of plastic thingamajigger with adhesive on the back. What, what do you do with this? They require these. DOT requires these. On the back of your cab. And they're, and they're placed up there like this on one side towards the top. And this on the other side towards the top. All four of mine fell off. Like a year and a half ago. 
because they're just held on by the sticky tape stuff. Well, I'd watched a video when uh, shortly after I started doing videos on YouTube from another driver who said he, he got went through a way station. I can't remember what state he said he was in. They pulled him around back and did an inspection, and they gave him a fine, a big fine, because he didn't have these things on there, which I say technically you don't have to have if you're connected to a trailer, because the average person, now they, they're not going to see these on the back of your cab, but that poor guy got fined. So I've been meaning to, to replace those, but I've never seen them anywhere. Sat Brothers in Peru, Illinois, they had them, they're four bucks a pop. So for 16 bucks, I've got four while I'm home. I will put those on the back of the cab. I'm gonna clean it real good to make sure they stick and stay on, hopefully this time. So I'll be completely legal. By the way, I know somebody's gonna ask, since I showed this wallet, Bull Captain uh, is uh, the brand on Amazon, it holds lots of cards. It's got an ID window. I really like this wallet. Uh, and it was only like 25 bucks on Amazon. So go search for Bull Captain. There's their little logo on Amazon, you'll find them. And by the way, Bull Captain does have a large variety of styles and sizes. I like this one because like I say, it's got lots of card slots. Some are up, up and down, some are sideways, which I think is cool because then it makes the whole wallet a little flatter. Instead of, you know, where mostly, usually it's, all thick on one end and thinner on the other and uh, then it's got two two money compartments here oh look at all the cash Ooh, yeah <laughs> but like I say this one has got I think about what 11 or so card slots you can put some more down here so I like it anyway and they got different colors I picked blue why not I've never had a blue leather wallet I thought well let's be different let's have a blue wallet why not Okay, so like I said, here in Brooklyn, Iowa, drove all through the night, stopped at Sap Brothers, did all that, uh, used the uh, split sleeper berth provision now on the new uh, HOS rules so I could spend time there getting the ABS cable done and then take a shower and still go as far as I needed to go, which was like 670 miles, something like that. So now I'm just a one day drive from the house and I'll get to be there all weekend. Yay! So that'll be cool. This load doesn't deliver till Monday uh, at noon in Salt Lake. Uh, from Cheyenne to Salt Lake, it's just a six and a half hour drive. So if I figure if I leave by 4.30 in the morning, uh, I'll be there in plenty of time. Weather's good, I don't have to worry about that. And so I'll be home uh, tomorrow night, Friday night. And I'll gonna be there all day Saturday, all day Sunday. Uh, yes, I'm getting my vaccine on uh, Saturday at Walmart. And I know some of you are all against that, and I got a huge comment from somebody who went on and on and on. And, yeah, believe what you want to believe. You know, some people are all against it, some people are for it. Fine. That's your prerogative. Your prerogative. Wasn't that Bobby Brown? Showing my age again. All right. So do what you want. But I'm getting it, and I'm going to do that while I'm going through the house. And spending time with the family. So excited about that. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please subscribe. Uh, please like and comment if you would like to. Uh, don't forget about Clutch Trucker on Instagram, Clutch Trucker on Twitter. Uh, and of course, ring that bell. Uh, no, what am I saying? Ring the bell for notification. I, I keep, I've been forgetting to say that so you know when new videos come out. And as always, uh, sniff that magic YouTube fairy dust. Clutch and Rusty, out. Human sacrifice, dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria. There's your begging strap. Jump, jump a little higher. Come on, leap. Leap, Rusty. Come get it. No, don't use the chair. Leap up. Come on. Oh, there you go. Happy dog with the begging strip. Yeah. It's a dog's gourmet dream.